Here lies... The name is not recognisable anymore. Whoever you may have been, may Boron have mercy on you. A Boron's wheel? I hope that's not a bad omen. Nuri, are you there? where she is. I don't know. I'm not telling. Let's make him wait. In darkness. Till the bird arrives. The raven shall deal with him. The raven? He will make him talk. I'll get him. You watch the mill. The raven belongs to the seer? As soon as the sand runs out, the night herd will talk. And his thread will break. Ugh. Nuri! Geron, are you alright? Those creatures. I'm trapped. Hmm. There's a shard lying here. It's very sharp. Great. I'll throw it down to you. No, wait, I... Do you have it? No. You should have caught it. Nuri. Who knows where it is now? I can't see anything. That's because there are no rainbow crystals here. Can you come down to me? There is no staircase. And there's this pale man outside. <sighs> Didn't you say you can collect moonlight? I get sick if I use magic. I know. But if I can't free myself fast, I'll be dead. Hmm. But just very briefly, all right? I promise. The shard has fallen onto the scale. The scale has come loose. No wonder the mill is forsaken. What is that pale figure doing out there? It's staring into the dark, as if it's missing something. There. There's a hole way back there. You said very briefly. It's broken off, and that's why the sawmill isn't working anymore. The sawmill mechanisms are out of order. Do you see that drum-like thing down there? Can you fix that for me? Nuri! Garen, there's a beetle with eight legs here. That's just a spider. Spiders have twelve legs. Nuri, please, you have to focus now. Okay. Go to the hole in the middle. Okay. The oil lamp is directly above the stool. Imp! There seems to be a basement underneath. Can you fix it? Nuri! <coughs> ha! Now all I have to do is free my hands. Come over here. Can 
you fix the scales? Ha! Got it! Garen, I feel dizzy. Just a little while longer, Nuri. to deal with the creature somehow. The handle is broken off. As long as the fiend is standing guard out there, that would be suicide. That might actually work. It's getting dark here. Just a little while longer, Nuri. It's quite far down, and there's no ladder. It's still sagging on the other side. There. Now the beast can come. What if it can see in the dark? Hmm. I should camouflage the trap. All right. This has got to work. Nuri, now you can... <laughs> Nuri? Damn. Wake up! We have to go! What? Where am I? Garen? Climb down to me, will you? I'm so tired. Let me rest a little while longer. That's not possible. We have to go. Mm-hmm. We cannot stay here. Garen, I don't want this anymore. It's not a matter of wanting. We have to get away from here or something terrible will happen. I can't. Just leave without me. I've talked to the fairy scholar. I know how we can fix everything. Really? The scholar told me of a fairy gate up north at the end of the world. It leads to a magnificent realm far away from the seer. You'd be safe there. What's the name of that realm? Fanglari. Its name is Fanglari. And he told me where we can find the portal to get there, too. Fanglari? Yes, but in order to get there, you have to come down at once. I can't. It's just a small jump. Look, I'll catch you. Build some stairs for me. Some stairs? How am I supposed to build some stairs? All right, I'll think of something. I'll be back in a minute. Look, a stair. Come on now. I don't know. I just want to sleep. Nuri! Tell me more about Fanglari. Is it beautiful there? Fanglari is a realm full of magic. The sky is as green as the fields in spring, and the stars sparkle even in daytime. I've never seen a green sky before. And if you don't come down here soon, you never will. What else is there? Everyone's as free as a bird in Fanglari. Everybody can fly, even a human like me. We could soar through the skies together. 
You and I. There are even rainbow beavers. But only in summer. In autumn, they migrate south to a different realm. If you want to see them this season, we'll have to hurry. That sounds odd. What else is there? The most incredible thing is, every fairy can do magic in Vanglari, without any pain. One wouldn't get exhausted? It really sounds like a different realm. Everything's brimming with fairy magic in Vanglari. That's why you don't lose your strength, because you use the power already in the wind or the sea. You're one with the whole world. That sounds marvellous. I want that. Come down. I'll show you the way to Fanglari then. I... I'll try, but I'll need a second stair. <sighs> All right, but then you'll come down for real, won't you? I promise. You're almost there. What about Master Raven? We have to wait for him. The Raven is dangerous. He's the Seer's spy. We have to get out of here before he returns. That's not true. Master Raven has always helped us. Trust me, would I ever lie to you? It's just that you never liked him. You have to come with me, now. Geron's words gave Nuri new strength. She wanted to know everything the fairy scholar had told him about the hidden realm. Where was it? Was it beyond the mountains? Was it beyond the swamplands? Why was it so secret? She imagined a land without time, without memories, and without future. A boundless land without a horizon. Geron's lie took shape, and in Nuri's head, the enchanted realm of Fanglari became real. Meanwhile, the river took the small vessel northward, towards the smuggler's town, towards the stinking swamps of the Brinask marshes. Even Nuri didn't like it here. She had accepted that she had to leave Geron's world as long as the seer was trying to find her here. This made her sad again. But perhaps she could take Geron with her. Why not? Because it's impossible, Nuri. I have to go back to Andergast. Goswin? Meander Goswin? What is so important in Andergast? It is my home. Please open up. I'm sure this is the house Norta described to us. Perhaps there's no one home. There has to be someone. We need that prism thing. The fairy scholar said it's the key to Fanglari. Are you looking for Meander Goswin? In that case, you're wasting your time. How do you mean, sir? Don't be so formal. Nobody here gives a hoot about that formality crap. They dragged Goswin from the Svelte, dead, about a year ago. Who are you, anyway? My name is Jar. I am Geron, and this... Is Nuri. And this is the first time in Inkwi for both of you. How? How do I know that? I'm a good listener. I am the ear of the alleys, and their whispering conscience. Impressive. I can provide you with one or two other items, too. Who did that to Goswin? He himself did, of course. Like so many other townspeople. And what's really behind that? No, oh, it's easy to make the most diverse of enemies in Enqui. Smugglers, whale hunters, Thoalians. You can ask over there at the bathhouse if you want to know more. If you're lucky, the bathwoman will spill the beans for free. Goswin was in possession of a prism. Do you know anything about it? A prism? Without me hearing the tingle of coins in my pocket, all I can tell you is that he had one. What do you know about it? 
Well, not much, really. You're cautious, eh? And damned right you should be. See you later. Watch your back. <laughs>